had this idea that I would teach the class poetry and I thought they'd really be into it. They were not at all. Poetry, as you know, is words of the heart. But what we have to do is you have to channel it through your mind. So let's just talk about poetry and your mind. First of all, we have something called foot and meter. Foot and meter. Shakespeare wrote in iambic pentameter. That's the foot. So iambic and pentameter would mean five. And I am is an unstressed followed by a stressed syllable. And there's five of these in here. When you're writing poetry, find something in your life that's really, really meaningful. So for instance, you might have a dog or you might have a grandma. You could write about your grandma's dog. If you really want to be truly great, what you want to do is you want to pull the levers of poetry. And pulling the levers of poetry means taking your words and starting from the beginning and writing all the way down to the ending. And when you're done, that's where you stop. I'm going to pass out some paper to you. You take out your pencils and pens and start writing a poem Start at the top of the paper and go all the way down, okay? Uh, let's see, got one for you, and a blank piece for you, and here. What I discovered was the kids had no interest in writing poetry, or researching it, or working on it, or sharing it, or anything. I had this great idea that like they'd get up and they'd share it. They did not want to share it and it was really bad. Now we've been using all sorts of techniques to make your writing sound great. Foot, meter, rhyme scheme, magic three, dialogue. You've been doing fantastic work. I know that because you have been keeping your head down and being quiet. So here's our Starbucks cafe. Let's share our poetry. Who wants to go? Raise the Russian please. All right, how about I call on Rosie? Come on up. I now understand why people go mad over nothing. Sometimes the mind is a terrible place. How about like calling her? Yeah, yeah, do that. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, Claire, you're next. Come on. Roses are red. I'm barely awake. This poem is bad. Pancake. Harrison, could you please come up? This is your mind. This is your mind on toast. This is your toast. This is your toast on my mind. I know who wants to go. Timothy! Capitalism is a scam. My grandmother's name is Pam. Do you like chip ham? I mean, it was pretty terrible. Did I say it was terrible yet? It was bad. He's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, to tell you the truth, so I decided to visit uh, Mrs. Hollander, our librarian. She gave me some great advice. Come to the library, we have all the answers.
in the end, that was pretty remarkable. It looks fine. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Get, like slow, like bang, bang. Not so your earbuds pop out. I didn't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks stupid. Like, I can How about like falling? Yeah, yeah, do that. Okay, ready? Okay. Look at the uh, front though, and then wait till you're on camera. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Come to the library, you have all the answers. Great, okay, do it one more. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, walk, walk, keep walking right past me. Walk, walk, walk. Walk past. Go. Okay, ready? Go. You can start. 
Say the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone listen to her. Pledge, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, <laughs> to the republic for which it stands. Bigger hands. One nation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs>